welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a cut crease tutorial. So how I got this cut crease that I have on right now. A cut crease look can be kind of hard if you're not using the right products, but uh, if you're using good eyeshadows, good brushes, uh, a cut crease isn't really hard to be quite honest. So if you follow the steps that I do in this video, you will probably get a similar look to what I have on right now. I also use a very affordable palette. This is from Suiva and it's the uh, Untope palette. We just has a lot of good uh, shades for a cut crease in my opinion because there's a lot of matte colors uh, because when you are doing a cut crease you want mostly matte colors especially in your crease it will look the best uh, you can also you can of course have like a glitter on your lid or something but today I just uh, chose to have a like all matte eye look also in this video I'm going to do kind of like an, an Instagram type makeup so like a full on like cream contour that I don't really do too often because I feel it's a little bit heavy, but some people really like those types of looks. So I am doing a full cream contour, a highlight on fleek, <laughs> and also a matte lip. I feel like I'm pretty Instagram approved right now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But if you guys want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. So the first thing I'm doing is just using my eyeshadow palette. This is the Suiva and Taupe palette, which as I said, is perfect for this look. It's perfect for a cut crease. The first color I'm going in, in with is the Hour by Hour color, which this color kind of reminds me of the Painterly Paint Pot color, you know, if, if that makes any sense. Like, more for like a skin toned, more pinky undertone type eyeshadow. It's just a tiny bit uh, darker than my skin tone, so as you can see, I'm just applying that one in my crease. Then I'm going in with the Gallery eyeshadow with the same eyeshadow brush, but I'm concentrating it more precisely in the crease. I'm not creating the cut crease yet, but this is one of the colors that will make everything like blend in together. Then I use the color Excusite or something like that, which is just a darker, more purpley, burgundy color. That This is the one that I'm going to focus mostly in the crease. As you can see, I'm just following my natural crease, so this is how I, I like to find my own crease, doing this technique. And I'm just blending it in so it looks really nice, but I, to see that really like sharp, edge it, you are going to see that when you use the lighter color on the, on the eyelid uh, but i'm just blending really well here then i'm in with this stitch by stitch color which is a super pigmented light white color actually where it's kind of more like a milky color but it is pretty stark white in my opinion so i'm just packing that on the eyelid this is when the crease start to look more sharp so i'm just uh, packing it on a lot so the color is like on its full intensity Then I just go in with the darkest crease color again and just like make it more intense. And then I just apply a little bit on the white on my eyelids again just to make it as intense as possible. Then I just go in and just blend a little bit with the lightest color that I use just in the edges. Then I go in with the white color again underneath my brow bone and just kind of fade it naturally down to all the other eyeshadows. Then for a look like this, I think it's really pretty to have a winged liner, so I'm using the MAC uh, Fluid Line Pen, which this one was from a collection, but I actually ended up switching to the Swing Liner from the, uh, the Balm, because I think that's just a little bit easier. And then I applied my mascara and my lashes, I used House of Lashes Siren Lashes today, which I actually really, really liked. And the mascara that I used is the Lash Sensational, which is just one of my, it's actually my all-time favorite mascara, I really, really love it. <laughs> This is how I apply my lashes, so I just kind of struggle with it a little bit. I use some tweezer and then I also use my fingers, so I just, I just kind of pop them on, you know? <laughs> then I just like to move on to my face. I'm just prepping my skin with the MAC Mineralize Charge Water Spray, which just gives my skin a lot of moisture and kind of primes my face a little bit. Then I'm going with a mattifying primer. I use the Makeup Forever Mattifying Primer, I think it's just called. So I'm just using this uh, strictly on the places that I truly get really oily. So on the sides of my nose, on my forehead, and also on my chin. Then I use a Revlon Color Stay Foundation, which is one of my favorite foundations for like a full coverage, which was really what I wanted today. I kind of wanted like a full-on matte skin, but kind of a, a lot of highlight, but you know, more of like a matte 
face, you know. So I'm just applying that with the Beauty Blender, which make it more natural. So just dotting that all over. Then I used the NYX HD Concealer, which is a newer concealer for me. I haven't been using it too much, but so far I kind of like it. So I'm just applying it underneath my eyes. And also all the other places that I get red or have some blemishes, so around my nose. And, you know, the other places that I have some uh, blemishes and stuff. Then for a super exciting product for this video, this is the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit in the color Light. So I'm just using the Fair and the Banana shade as a highlight. So this is not something that I would do on an everyday basis because for me, I just I think it's easier to use concealer, like a light concealer. It's just a little bit too much for me to use like a heavy duty like contour kit. But it was kind of fun for this video to try it out and, and you know, it's fun to try out. Like I like to play with makeup. So that's what I think is fun with it. So I would definitely like, recommend everyone to try this out because it's just kind of a fun process, you know? It, it looks kind of silly and, and I like that. So I just apply it underneath my eyes, on my forehead, down my nose, and also underneath my cheekbones. This is one of my favorite techniques actually, so this is something that I do a lot because it just really carves up my cheekbones. So this is how all the highlight colors look together. Then I use the coolest and the lightest uh, contour shade, which this is not something that I do often. I just think it's easier to use a powder. But it was, again, really fun to try out, so it, it actually worked really nice. So I just applied it underneath my cheekbones, on my temples, and a little bit up on my forehead, and also a little bit underneath my mouth, because it makes my, my mouth look a little bit bigger, which is something that everyone wants these days, I feel like. So this is how the face looks when it's not blended out at all. <laughs> so I'm just using my Beauty Blender and blending everything together. I start with the lighter color, so the highlight, and then I move on to my, like, the dark colors. So, just blending it out with a beauty blender, which is, like, the easiest tool to blend on, like, a cream contour. Then I think it's really pretty to use a blush, so I use the, the Body Shop Honey Bronze Zero 02 blush, which I actually been really liking lately. It's like a cream blush, and it's really beautiful, so this is one I actually really recommend. So I just blend it out with the Beauty Blender to make it more natural. Then I use my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and use the lightest highlight color just to set my under eye concealer. Then it's time to set the whole face so I don't get oily, so I just use the e.l.f. Uh, HD powder. Then I just move right onto my eyes again because I did not finish uh, underneath my eyes. So I just went in with the grey color and the burgundy color and kind of just mixed them together and just blended a lot underneath the eyes. And then I used a steel eyeliner which is kind of a mix between black and brown. And then I used some mascara. I used the Maybelline Lash Sensational on my lower lashes. And then you guys know me, I always have to bronze my skin, so I use the Hourglass Radiant Bronze Light Bronzer, which is a very warm toned bronzer, so I'm just applying that everywhere that I want to look a little bit more bronze, and it's kind of a nice bronzer, I do really like it. Then it is important to get that highlight on fleek situation going on, so I use the Sleek Highlight Palette and use the more peachy color which is super bright and very intense so I just apply that with a like a small blending brush and it really makes the highlight pop so I'm just putting on a lot of highlights so as you can see I use a lot of it but this looks really pretty in pictures so just saying I also use a little bit down my nose and also on the tip of my nose and also a little bit on my cupid's bow but I didn't show that but this is how all the highlight color look together then I apply my MAC Sore Lip Liner all over my lips, also filled in my whole lips with it. I really like this lip liner, it's just a really beautiful like berry mauve type color. Then when you hear your favorite song, of course you just have to do a little dance break. But I'm going in with my favorite liquid lipstick lately, it's the Sephora one. Actually it's really good, it's actually my favorite liquid lipstick I've ever tried. I think they're called 
cream lip stain. I really recommend them. The color that I have is 13. So this is beautiful. It's my, my absolute favorite liquid lipstick actually. So this is the finished result. I hope you guys liked the video and please give it a like and also comment down below what you thought about the video if you liked it, of course. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys! Of high definition powder for me and how I've used them, they are really, really similar. Like, really, really similar. Then we have an eyeshadow primer which has been talked about for years and years and years. This has probably been popular for around like 10 years.